G'day everyone, Brendan here from UES again. Now did you know that we do gas struts? Over the coming weeks and months, we're gonna be putting up a lot more information about our range of gas struts. But I thought I'd run through a couple of little tips and tricks for you when you're working out which gas strut is gonna be suitable for you. So the main information that, that we need to know is the overall size of the door. So that's the length and the width and the actual dead weight of the door. Now, if you don't know the dead weight of the door, a simple way to try and uh, work it out is you put um, a, a rod or, or even like a broom um, in the middle of the door and you put it down to a, a set of scales and that'll give you a rough dead weight of the door and we can work from there. And when we talk about um, advice on instant installing your gas struts, you always wanna make sure that the body of the strut is at the highest point where it's going to be fitted for the longest. And what I mean by that is, if you've got an application like this one, where the door comes, uh, when the door closes, the strut just works up and down, you wanna make sure that the body is mounted in the, in the top position. Now there is a, 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 an opposite to that. Um, you'll find them on um, like station wagon boots where the strut will actually over center and when the door is open, you'll see that the shaft is at the top. Um, but when the door closes, so where it is at its longest point, the body will still be at the top. And there's a specific reason for that is inside of the body uh, or inside of the chamber, there's a whole heap of oil and, and lubricant to keep, um, to keep the shaft itself lubricated so it can move up and down. If you had it mounted the opposite way, all of that oil and lubricant is gonna sit at one particular end of the body and it won't get onto that shaft. Other advice that we uh, would give you is to always protect uh, the shaft of the strut. You wanna try and keep it away from things like uh, welding spatter, uh, grinding, grinding um, spurs. You wanna keep it away from dirt, uh, dust, uh, whatever you can just to try and uh, make sure that when that strut closes, there's nothing on the shaft that's going to bust the seal, break the little seal that's uh, around the body. So if you see that, um, if you see some things that are, that are stuck onto the shaft uh, when, when, the, when the strut is open, give it a wipe down, uh, not with your hand because your hand's got all oil and grease on it, um, and that'll protect your strut and give you longevity. If you need more information uh, or need to speak to one of our representatives, please give us a call, one 300 001904 or jump onto our website at www.uesint.com.